number 2501. We're going to do a couple of problems out of section 5 on determinants. The first one gives you determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix and it's got some numbers and it's got some x's in it. And the first part of the question asks you to explain why the determinant of this matrix is a polynomial of degree 3. Well, different. you could write a little story about why it is. I think probably the easiest way of, of showing this is just to start to evaluate the determinant and just get enough into it so that you can see it's a, de it's a polynomial of degree 3. So I'm just going to, just to practice our determinant expansions anyway, I'm just going to, to expand this out. So I take the x cubed and I cross out the row and column. And you see whatever that is, 1 or something, but you see it's only going to be a number. And then you're going to get minus x expanding down the first column, so plus, minus, plus. So minus x, cross out the row and column, you get 8, 1, 1, 8, which again is a constant. And then you're going to get plus the 1 at the bottom, cross out the row and column, you get 8, 1, 2, 1. And without doing any more, I'm just going to say that that's p of x. And so p of x is a poly of degree 3. It's a polynomial of degree 3. So, if it's a polynomial, then immediately you're thinking, well, polynomials have roots, and if I can find out what the roots of the polynomial are, I know what the polynomial is completely. And so part b says, pick some values of x that make the determinant 0. That's another way of saying, find some of the zeros of this polynomial. So I look at, at the numbers in there and I can see that, well, if I put x to be 1 in, then I'll get two columns the same, and that immediately wipes out the determinant. So I'm just going to say that um, p of 1 is going to be 0, because the determinant will be 0. And I can see some 2s and 8s, so I might think about 2, and if I put 2 in there, well, I'll get 2 and 8. So the first two columns will be uh, the same, and again, that means the determinant must be 0. If you've got any two rows or columns the same, the determinant is 0. And so I'm just going to say by inspection, uh, P of 1 is 0 and P of 2 is 0. So that, that's a nice phrase by inspection. You just look at it and you guess those two are going to be in. And the third part of the problem is now, well, factorise the polynomial completely. So um, factorise the polynomial. So my P of X then, by the way, it's going to be a monic polynomial because the determinant of that one is 1. So it's only going to be a 1X cubed. So the polynomial must be x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus, well, I might just call it alpha for the third, for the third part. It's a monic polynomial. So I might actually go back here and just put in brackets, in fact, monic. So I finished the problem if I can work out what the alpha is. Well, um, well to do that, I'm just going to look at the constant term. That's the easiest way of working out what the alpha is. I'm just going to look at the constant term. So the constant term here is going to be minus 2 alpha, if I put x to be 0. Now on the other hand, the constant term over here, well that came from this last determinant, and I can see from that that that's going to be 6. So that tells me alpha is minus 3. So to finish off the problem, it asks you for the roots. So the roots of this polynomial are going to be uh, 1, 2, and minus, and um, plus 3, uh, sorry, and uh, minus 3. And there are the three uh, roots of the polynomial.